mirror tell me the truth? When will the oppressed have their due? When will the oppressed have their due? When will the oppressed have For me being a person whose culture means so much to them, you know, that I've been trying to develop one because I really didn't feel like I had a culture. I don't, like me personally, I can only talk about my experience. When I grew up, um, the biggest part of my culture was the Bible. Um, and a lot of it, a lot of who I was was centered around the Bible. A lot of what we did, a lot of what we ate, you know, um, it was centered around the Bible. So I don't feel like I really had a culture. I don't feel like we we really had one that was specific to us. Um, I feel like one of the things that, you know, people who look like me or people who share my skin complexion um, or who share my um, genetics, we, we vacation in trauma. Like we... We deal with a lot of trauma and we found a way to normalize it, you know, and to dress it up, get nails done, going to get makeup, wigs, eating, you know, um, you know, like we found a way like comfort food and and um, throwing on um, labels and price tags and things to mask the trauma and stuff that we're going through. When we talk about how, like, that's something that we did during slavery and we just stopped doing it, like, we, like we're not doing it right now. Like, um, black people aren't hugely responsible for how well the NFL is doing and how well the NBA is doing. Like, black people aren't responsible for how well the um, music industry is doing and and how well um how much money they're making in the music industry how much money they're making in sports like deeply melanated people aren't hugely responsible for the success that's taking place in Hollywood like the actress so so our ancestors didn't just build up the nation um when they were out there picking cotton and, and picking sugar cane and picking tobacco and picking rice. Like, yeah, physically they were building up the nation. Like, people who look like me are continuing to build this nation. Like, that's happening right now. Like, there is a continuation of people who are building this nation up right now, sowing into it right now. And so the question comes back for me again, what is our culture when every since integration like we might have had culture during the reconstruction period we might have had culture before integration but our culture is so integrated into whiteness and and it's so integrated into the system it's 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 like india Ari song i can't tell where yours begin and i can't tell where mine's end the the cultures have just been so interwoven i get really confused when we call ourselves americans okay so is america a culture so wait a minute you're black and you have black culture but you're also american and you have american culture so i just feel like we have to watch what wealthy black people are doing when they try to draw us into these conversations about culture because our cultures are not the same poor poor people's cultures and rich people's cultures are not the same so i just don't think that celebrities should be speaking for poor people when they talk about, you know, killing us and, and using our culture because the content that a lot of celebrities are putting out, it caters to white audiences and it panders to white audiences. And the content that they're putting out does not really express an authentic indigenous or, um, or pan-African culture. That's not that's not what we're looking at. That we're not looking at an evolution of Pan-Africanism. We're not looking at an evolution of indigenous people. We're looking at American culture, you know, with deeply melanated skin. Mirror, mirror, tell me the truth. When will the oppressed have their due? When will the oppressed have their due? When will the oppressed have their due?